All right, um, so I have cosine to the fourth alpha minus sine to the fourth alpha equals cosine squared of alpha minus sine squared alpha. Now, the important thing I see here, or what I recognize, is that difference of two squares relationship. I at least see a difference of two squares here, right? This a squared minus b squared. I know that can be factored into a minus b times a plus b, right? You've got to know all your factoring techniques. And if you remember from chapter two, what we learned is, remember, we did something similar to this. We knew our factoring techniques, but we just raised the powers, correct? So when we raise the powers of our, um, of our polynomials, we just raise the powers of our factors. So for instance, if I have a to the fourth minus b to the fourth, I can factor that down into a squared minus b squared times a squared plus b squared. Would you guys not agree that work? Same like process, we're just raising the powers. So I'm going to make the left side work, look like the right side. So I'm going to factor this down into cosine squared of alpha minus sine squared of alpha times, um, this would be cosine squared of alpha plus sine squared of alpha. Well, what is cosine squared plus sine squared? It's one. There you go. Done. All right? Yeah. Wasn't that bad?